were like almost banking on this to be their ticket to final combat even if it was ninja killer wins it and they were to get second that reality is gone this is now winner only and what a final story to have for NAEs. anyway for those that are unsure of the double elimination mighty unjust has not been sent to losers yet so if he wins this three out of five the tournament's over, right? He just he just takes it. If Zombat wins this three out of five, he essentially puts Mighty Unjust into losers, and then we do one final set. So we'll see, Johnny Cage or Peacemaker. Yeah, and this has been the uh, the theme of today, right? Peacemaker versus Johnny Cage. Uh, tons of Peacemakers, tons of Johnny Cages in this top eight. But again, it came down to these final two. Mighty Unjust has not lost a set so far. Ooh, the Glaive not coming back because of the block pressure happening afterwards. And what a duck by Zombat, seeing afterwards, challenging and, and, and anticipating those highs. If Zombat continues to play the way he did against Ninja Killer, I feel like we're in a situation here where you know, this could be the long haul. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It can absolutely be the long haul here. The down one afterwards, like nothing getting checked because Mighty Unjust just a little too scared to, to start making moves. Neutral jump kick here. Oh, and the Goro going to pop him up, but doesn't get the conversion. A little sloppy gameplay here I'm seeing from Zombat, but you know what? He got a feel for the guy. He just went through the ringer of losers matches. So, you know, fatigue definitely going to be an issue here. Just <laughs> sweating against Ninja Killer the way he did in that last set would take out so oh much. Drop. Yeah, a little drop here and there. That's okay, though. Could have been the round had Mighty and just finished his play to wake up up block. I'm not going to lie. That was a smart one. I think not a lot of people realize just how quickly you can up block from getting up. Yeah, yeah. So it's those, almost those, like meaty jumps that aren't actually safe jumps lose to it. Big boot to the face, trying to anti-air oh no watch the overhead watch the dome molina ball roll coming your way Do some good damage and just set up the stage for mighty unjust to sit back nice shadow kick to punish that gunshot from so far away if you don't have your cameo to kind of keep you covered you might not want to you not, might not want to take that arm out and just 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 be a little bit more passive here with what's on the line i'm surprised you can have any kind of Calculated decision making. That's the first game. Mighty Unjust. All right. So, for his like perfect world, I think mm -hmm. this is. I win the next two games, and I just don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but you, you, you can't you can't focus on that because it's so easy for that not I to happen. I just need to win <laughs> three zero, mate. I just need to do and this. And I'm good. I need. I'm. I, <laughs> I'm seeing so much fatigue coming from Zombat. Like, yeah, it, it's 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 you, it's you that factor. Know. Like when you slay a legend like that, like Ninja Killer, like you come out of that, but you come out of that so hurt and so down, like on 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 mental capacity that it carries over into you know, like it's not done yet. Like, yeah, you beat Ninja Killer, you beat Sonic Fox, you beat a, 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 a NRS legend, but. Sometimes that doesn't mean that's the end of the tournament. Sometimes it's somebody else there waiting for you. You know, we've seen it time and time throughout history. Unjust is just challenging at so many, like, bad spots here. Like, thinking that it's going to be the end of the string, or thinking that he's not going to cancel and anything. And it's, it's, you can tell Unjust just, just wants to stay back in zone. And Zombat, so good at, at, at cycling through that, at, at, at getting through the projectile war, getting through the obstacle course. All right, walk up throw. Oh my lord, that was it. I think that was a Melina side traded with Goro right there. Oh, oh wait, it, but didn't punish. I mean, can you? I don't think you can cancel before you land. Is is the rising elbow? Is the rising elbow something you have to respect in in height mode? Because Goro is down for the count. Like Doro, I want to say Goro got got chewed up by Eagly or got hit by the Melina side by the Melina Sai assist, but either way, Goro is not a factor in there. And I think Mighty just kind of choked a little bit there because like he can't cancel on anything in the air.
I believe in hype mode that that rising I, I could be wrong, but I believe that rising uppercut is a simple punish. And, you know, the, the idea there was I'm going to down one and he's going to think it's his turn. So I'm going to cancel into the rising uppercut and Mighty thought it thought it through to that point of the mind game, but just just didn't punish afterwards. Even if it was just a simple down two to, to hit him while he's still in the air, like he's yeah, locking, he's that locked be, in. That would be the safer option because I'm fairly mm -hmm. certain I have I have in the past four uh, hype twenty cages that they land and they do like you know ex nut punch and stuff like that. Like the whole thing is just one giant base. Mm -hmm. However, the change here to Peacemaker Kano. Yes. It's so my again. most, I think it's my most for Peacemaker team. I mean, you see it a lot online these days. It's sort of become the new wave, almost replacing the striker. Did he just, did he just perfectly punish? Now, so I guess that was the, the timing on the Kano knives, but he was able to duck under the second knife and just punish perfectly the torpedo because the torpedo still had a lot of recovery. So Mighty Unjust needs to adjust the timing there on that Kano knife, on the Kano knife throws. Oh boy, a lot of stress to an already stressful situation. Oh, oh, oh man. You gotta try and get this timing a little bit better, mate. Well, let's just uh, forget what we're playing for right now. <laughs> let's just, hey, this is just casual. It's okay. Yeah. We're having fun, right? This is fun? This is fun? Sweating like this? This is fun, oh boy. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely am too. The downward shot getting challenged here afterwards. Mighty, this whole set, Mighty and Just is trying to be so disrespectful in, in moments where, you know, just just don't, just don't do this. Don't, don't press a button when Johnny Cage is right on top of you. I know you want to get away. I know you want to just like resort back to zoning, but Zombat just, just so willing. Yeah, then that was a different timing there on the Kano. He doesn't have a lot of health to work with. And Zombat goes up 2-1 over the Mighty Unjust. This is scary territory for you. You're not quite reset, but you're but you're you're facing that demon. You're facing that fact that the opponent that you're fighting against is capable of beating you. Going up 2-1, not comfortable at all. This is so scary for the Mighty Unjust. Oh man, I'm sweating. I'm sweating so bad. If this does result in a reset, my one thing I would hope is that Unjust doesn't just like instantly jump into the next match straight away. Yeah, yeah. Take a little breather. You've got to take some time. Take a little breather. A little, Nothing's little... happened. You know, we've gone back to a different cameo here. We've gone back to the chameleon, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kano nope, was yeah. a worthy try. We had the winner's bracket, so we had the safety net of extra games. Mm-hmm. Keep it nice and safe. Oh, the down two, just kind of stopping all the shenanigans. Again, Peacemaker, not a character that can really, uh, really do anything once he's in the air. So you know, you have that set, that that set, uh, that set track path whenever you you do take to the sky with Katana and Lim. Yeah, nice little bait out here from Zombat. Empty jump with the throw for some maximum damage. Goro extending our combos. Goro making it really hurt. Man, Mighty and just not looking good here. Not looking good at all. Zombat on the verge of making this reset happen. He's so just what... been a complete powerhouse. There's been such fearlessness. There's been up blocks when necessary. Not getting away with any sort of uh, almost desperation. Cross up jumps out of situations. Good block. Go. Rocks it with Goro. Good blocks there from the Mighty Unjust. You saw him ducking under for just a second, just a microsecond, and saying, oh, wait, no, here comes the overhead. Looks for a safe jump, and a lot of players like to go for the delay wake up just to kind of mess with the timing, but you know, you're giving up so much. Oh, that's going to be a punish. That's going to be a punish. That's going to be a punish, and that's going to be a reset bracket here. Mighty Unjust falls down to the lower side. First tournament life is gone. Now both players down to their final life. Again, to reiterate how a double elimination tournament works. Clear and simple. You have to lose two times. You have to lose two times to be out of the tournament. This is the first time Mighty Injustice lost, and Zombat has already lost previously to Ninja Killa in the uh, round two of winners. So now the slate is totally clean from here on out. No more resets. Whoever wins this best of five set
He's going to get that last spot, that qualifying spot for Final Combat. Going to get flown out to Toronto to compete for $200,000. This is this is so down to the wire, man. This is so, so close. And uh, catch up. I got some bad news for you. Mighty Unjust going right into it. Not only staying with the same character, but not even taking a chance to breathe. What is this catch up? I just simply hope it doesn't come back to haunt him. I, it doesn't sound like much. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you're getting like uh, the sort of just the steamroll effect where it just starts to really pick up and uh, Zombat is continuously playing better and better, you worry that that's going to hinder Unjust. However, feels like we don't have to worry about it so far. He's getting really impressive damage here, keeping the full screen again. Why go in? Why give Johnny Cage that opportunity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just 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 try to stay back as much as possible but again you have to remember that shadow kick always going to be a thing i don't know if that was the wrong timing on that up block but either way even if the up block was successful that's going to be a no problem chip out as ketchup has said before flawless blocking is really the only thing you can do about it in that situation I mean, he's, just so, he's just so big from that as well that it's almost impossible to with because he lays on his side so it's kind of just like he's bigger than most <laughs> right, Big boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Punish. Now, what was that Molina Cyro? I mean, I guess the Eagly would have would have connected into something had it hit, but that just seems like such a big risk. Why take it, Goro? Keeping Johnny Cage safe in that situation. Mighty and just thought it was the green light to go. Katana fan lift, getting him out of the corner, buying him a little bit of real estate for maybe another round. But if he does hit it, never mind. Over to the other side is Zombat with that big jump in three from Johnny Cage. Probably the best jump kick in this entire game. I can't say it enough. Oh, I would say so. <laughs> That and Scorpions is really good as well, you know. It is. They don't tell any Scorpion players like that, that they'll just deny it until the, until the caps come out. <laughs> Forward throw here from Goro, coming in for the assist. Not too much damage, but hey, that's okay. Let's just keep him locked down. Speaking of locked down, Goro to keep it nice and safe. And in fact, just super plus because of the timing of that, uh, that ambush cameo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a throw. It's starting to add up. Significantly starting to add up. Yeah, All right, we need a, 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 a good 15 more of those. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the answer. Down two to stop Goro entirely. Oh the up block. Can he make this comeback? Goro's still down, so he can't break. So I think that's why he's opting to use this fatal blow before Goro came back, before giving him access to this. I mean, it's going to do a pretty good amount of damage. And you can't really break projectiles. So if Mighty and Just finds a few good hits, this did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to be. 45% Jade Glow on what he just threw. He just threw. I'm going to try to chip him out from me. No, that was enough. That was enough. I forgot 900 health character. 900 health character. He had nothing left, but Mighty Adjust knew it. He sniffed it out. What a comeback. What a comeback. I'm in disbelief that that just happened. I'm in, in utter disbelief that that just happened. I think combat just thought it was too... I'm as cool as a cucumber. I'm chilling. I got an 80% lead. I got Goro. And, and and again, Ketchup, that all started from the call out that Goro is down. He's got three bars, but he can't break. He can't break. And I'm going to make this hurt as much as possible. Mighty unjust, man. Mighty unjust. One thing that's worth saying is the manner of which Zombat was able to reset that bracket, that is the best kind of win that unjust can get in the next game, because if he lost in almost the exact same fashion, you've lost the mental game, because it's like, yeah, it just falls to pieces, especially seeing as Unjust went straight into the next match. Mm -hmm. But now, playing a little bit more airtight, a little bit more bold when necessary, these grabs. I mean, in some ways, I'd rather just hold it. <laughs> three, three grabs again. Mighty Unjust, how many times are you gonna do that to somebody? How many times? Hold on a second. We're back in the corner. No, never mind. Katana fan lip. We're out of there. And I, I, I feel like that's that's he's usually he's using his resources every time he gets put back in the corner. Like, let me stay away. I can't do this. I can't compete. I can't compete with all this aggression when I'm stuck in the corner. When I can't move. When I've got no real estate. So let me save those katana those katana fan lips for when I can get out of here. 
I'm just, I'm in so much shock still from the last game. Like, I can't believe what we're seeing here. Nice flawless block from Zombat. Again, that's kind of what Peacemaker does to a lot of people. It's just like, he just chips you out, like, with so much. The gunshots do a lot. The, the anti-gravity does so much chip. Like, it's just like a, a constant theme for this character's tool set. Whoa, faking it out here. Opting to go for the far range to stay away from any kind of up block shenanigans. Oh my gosh, that was a big whiff punish. Big whiff punish. Forced to come off that breaker. Forced to come off those three bars. Super expensive. Goro keeping it super plus. Backing off with a nice little sweep. And Zombat fully respecting that. Katana fan lift. Get me out of here, but that's okay. I got the follow-up pressure. You're going to get disrespectful. Oh, and I dropped oh, the combo. No. Zombat just dropping the combo right in front of him. Next touch Safe does him. win it for the Mighty Unjust, but not the throw. He would need an actual conversion into a fatal blow. Oh, oh we just like, torpedoed. He, I, did he just punish a down one with a neutral jump kick? Did he just punish a down one with a neutral jump kick? Like, I don't think that was something that Zombat knew he was going to be risking there. Because, like, yeah, the down pokes have recovery, but not that much. And it was just that perfect amount of time. And that challenge from the Mighty Unjust. Mighty Unjust up to oh Zombat in such a tough spot here. Zombat's gonna have to bring this back three games straight, and he's sticking it out with this 900 damage team, this glass cannon, this slow recovering cameo that is known as Goro that costs you 50 health. The aggressive machine known as Johnny Cage also costing you another 50 health down to a 10% difference in these life bars. All three life bars that you see in all three potential rounds. But this could be it. This could be the Mighty Unjust taking this all the way home. The girl pop up. Oh, he thought he was closer this to the corner. Be... He thought he was closer to the corner and he wasn't. This would be an unbelievable result for Unjust because he always ended MK11. Like, he was able to secure the EVO top six that year, mm -hmm. but... I know that he was always like, he knew he was good, but just when the chips were down in the biggest tournaments, he was rarely able to kind of match that ferocity, like gameplay wise. It's an MK1 that he really has sort of hit the ground running. Just looking for it. Wake up, torpedo. Oh my like god. <laughs> I, I love how he, he's like, I need, I need anti gravity. I got hit out of it. Well, if it didn't work one way, I'm going in the other way. <laughs> it just went straight for Torpedo. And that's very dangerous. I mean, that could have been a flawless block from Zombat, but I don't think he saw it coming. Fan lift, keeping it safe and just waiting for him to whiff, knowing that he was going to hold back to kind of mess with the trajectory of that jump. Getting clipped by the low. Zombat dipping into that a little bit more knowing that the overheads weren't really working for the Mighty Unjust. Mighty Unjust kind of maybe preemptively uh, expecting the overheads. Fan lift, getting him out of there. Again, saving that bar for the armor, and saving that fan lift to just get a little bit more real estate and super smart by Zombat, knowing, hey, I'm a little too far away to do a normal punish, and I don't need a lot to seal the deal. So here comes regular Shadow Kick. Speaking of, plenty more where that came from. Ah, fan lift, no one home! Nobody was home to get him out of dodge. No one was home to get him out of the danger zone. That was a great back dash as well. Zombat. Looks like there's still some life in him here. Catch up every time. Every time he finds himself down and in the corner, like that torpedo katana right. fan lift is coming out and. You know, it wasn't enough to get him, you know, the breathing room he wanted for this game. And Zombat's still in there, man. This is the start. This is the start of a potential reverse 3-0. Does he have enough in the tank? Does he have enough in the tank? After going through all the other players on the loser side, after going through Ninja Killer on the loser's finals, after knocking the Mighty Unjust into the lower bracket by resetting the bracket. After all that, does he still have enough in the tank? Does he have the mental fortitude to just stay strong and keep on trekking? Or is he going to slip? Is he going to slip and let the Mighty Unjust take this? The Mighty Unjust in a huge in a, in a much more comfortable position here, but the mentality, the, the, the mental mind game, just going back and forth between these players. Just coming down to it, man. This is it. There's one spot. There's literally one spot. Who's going to take it? Oh, boy, getting parried, but a little too far. That move, that forward advancing string just keeps him a little too far away for Zombat to really capitalize off of it. 
flawless block, not an up block, even though it has the same sound. Always confuses me whenever I'm playing. I'm just like, was that a flawless block? Or up block? I gotta say though, your energy is infectious. I've, I've reached the point where it's gotten quite late at night here in the UK, so I cannot, I cannot do my my That's usual okay. thing. But you're watching, you mean, you're watching unjust. This has got to be pretty, almost like proud dad moment. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Seeing the mighty Mortal Kombat New Jersey. That's right. Seeing the mighty unjust compete and, and win and lose so many MKNJs, but seeing this, I mean, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat here, man. I mean, obviously, trying not to be super biased, but Mighty Unjust. He's not lying, by the way. I can see his, his commentator cam, and he genuinely is. He spent half of this set standing up. Oh, that's the confirm from Zombat, though. One and the round, and we're mode. tying it right back up. Hype mode, catch up. Hype mode going to be coming into play here. Gonna be yeah, immediate went right into it. And the call out, it's it's almost like you have to call out the specific stagger of like when is he going to stop shadow kicking? I hope it's right now because I want this combo. <gasps> Missed the nut punch and got opened up by the Molina ball roll. No bar left for Zombat. No bar at all. Mighty unjust. Just shooting away. I'm I'm surprised he recognized that the third shot hit in time because it was it, it's very easy to let that moment escape you. Nice dash to keep the corner position here. Again, doesn't want to push. No, doesn't want no. to attempt fate. Keep the advantage. And there we go. Tournament point. Regional <laughs> final point. If Unjust wins this round, final combat is made. Oh boy. The back escape. Good call out there by Zombat, knowing Mighty Unjust trying to buy a little bit more real estate here. Doesn't want to get forced into the corner. But again, like we said, wait for that katana, the katana chameleon cycle. Wait and it's minute. gonna it's gonna be torpedo into fan lift out of here. If he gets knocked down in the corner. If he does, but Mighty Unjust obviously trying not to let that Gosh. happen. A nice little sweep here. Throw combo. Did a little bit more than a normal throw, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fast cooldown, maybe. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh boy, back off. The J Blade. He's how much? How much projectile can he avoid with J Blade and Force Field on at the same time? Back it off here. Eagly coming into oh play. And Goro. I, I'm surprised Goro still came out. No, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Oh! He pressed it. Did he, he pressed it? Did he, pre he, did he press he, it before? He might have. He, he pressed it before. That yeah. jump kick was already active. Oh my gosh. All right. What a parry. Back. He's got to make this one count. Mighty Un just outmashed him there. Oh, what the torpedo? He just did it. Giving combat, uh, giving Zombat a little taste of his own medicine, as we saw before from Ninja Killer after getting hit with a fatal blow. And again, I think that decision was made well before. Said, I'm just gonna go in torpedo. Mighty and just wins the tournament. Mighty and just getting that qualifying spot for final combat.